What? I'm hungry! So am I! I want ice cream! But I don't have any. Why don't you make some? Three. Ah! First you'll need... Some ice. <laughs> some ice cream salt. Plastic bags. Vanilla extract! And sugar! Go! Some milk! Now what? Add half a cup of milk! Go! And sugar! And vanilla! Now what? Put the ice in a bag! We get the temperature. And record it! Add some salt and record the temperature. Now put the milk and sugar in the ice. And shake. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Go, go, go! <laughs> Shake it. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you. I want you to shake it. Better? No, I don't do it. It's done! How does it work? 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 So what does this have to do with chemistry? Did you notice that the second time you took the temperature, after you added the salt, it was lower? Ice has to absorb energy in order to melt, changing the phase of water from a solid to a liquid. When you use ice to cool the ingredients for ice cream, the energy is absorbed from the ingredients and from the outside environment, like your hands, if you're holding the baggie of ice. When you add the salt to the ice, it lowers the freezing point of the ice, so even more energy has to be absorbed from the environment in order for the ice to melt. This makes the ice colder than it was before, which is how your ice cream freezes. Ideally, you would make your ice cream using ice cream salt, which is just salt sold as large crystals instead of the small crystals you see in the table salt. The large crystals take more time to dissolve in the water the, around the ice, which allows for even cooling of the ice cream. Compounds that break into two pieces upon dissolving, like sodium chloride, breaks into Na plus and Cl minus, are better are better than lowering the freezing point than substances that don't separate into particles because the added particles disrupt the ability of the water to form crystalline ice. The more particles there are, the pro the greater the, the disruption and the greater the impact of particle dependent properties or colligative properties like freezing point depression, boiling point elevation, and osmotic pressure. The salt causes the ice to absorb more energy from the environment, becoming colder. Now that's chemistry.